It's getting cloudy when our cherry is coming, we out. If you bout it, white robes in the closet, redeeming my body, that's already done. I shot like a star with my brothers, my God is the sun. I keep them calm. That was finished before the first minute when all is begun. The sky might fall, but the prophecy was still living on. Shalom, sisters. How y'all doing? Y'all come up a little closer. What's your name? Tyra. Tyra. What's your name, sis? What you scared of? Don't be shy. We are on a little time frame. I'm okay. I'm All right. So, um, first question. What color is Jesus Christ? My Lord is black. The Lord is black. How you know? How how you know your Lord black? Because he had skin like me, hair like me. Yeah, you read that in the Bible, or somebody told you? I know. Oh, you just know. You just believe that. What about you, sis? Well, I'm not sure, but I know he wasn't the man who's in that picture. Oh, which which picture? The this one here. Yes, sir. White white boy. Sis, what about you in the car? Uh -huh. Is Christ a black man or white man? Black. You guessing? Oh. I'm guessing. You guessing? Yeah. All right. Let's get the real answers. Let me get Revelation chapter one verse one. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. Okay, so this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. That's re uh, what revelation means, the revealing of Jesus Christ. Let's read verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All right, so if we're looking at both of these pictures right here, we got two on. We got one on this side, then we got one on this side. Now read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Which one got white hair on? This one on the right, right? All right, read on. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. All right, it says, Christ's feet was like fine brass. What color is brass? Fine brass. Goldish brown color, right? Like the color of a penny, right? So the feet, your feet, it's like, you know, the color of the rest of your body, right? Right or wrong? All right, so it said his feet was like fine brands, as if it what? As if they burnt in a furnace. So if you burn something, what color do it turn? Black. Black, right? So what that saying? Christ was what? Christ was a dark-skinned black man. Right. That's what it's saying. That's what it's saying. So there ain't no way Christ was this image right here. Think about the land of Israel. The land of Israel is in Africa. How many of these do you see? No. That's what you're going to see during that time frame. So, I got another question. If Christ's black, right? Christ, the king of the Jews, he's black. What color was his people? What did they look like? Huh? Alright, let's see. Give me, uh, give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah mourner and the gates thereof languish. Uh -huh. They are black unto the ground. Uh -huh. And the crowd of Jerusalem is gone up. So it says the Jews black, right? Yep. Give me uh, Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Let's see what uh, color King Solomon was. Do y'all know who King Solomon was? Yep. The wisest king to ever live. Read that. Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, uh -huh. as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. So King Solomon said he was black, but comely. So he was black, but beautiful, right? So King Solomon was a king in Israel, right? Christ is a king of the Jews, right? So we, we're talking about royalty right now. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. We're talking about the Israelites here, right? So... All, all this time we've been talking, we've been talking about royalty, you know what I'm saying? Kingship. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Ma'am, don't leave, y'all. Y'all want to hear this right here. Because we talk about the, the, the kingdoms, right? We talking about the kings of Israel and how we are holy people and a special people unto himself, right? Give me, um... Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. So I'm bringing in a little different. We starting off on top, right? We starting off at the top. Read. 
Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. Moses speaking to the Israelites, right? If you want to know who the Israelites are, check this sign out right there. The Twelve tribes. See which one you come from. Now go back to it. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So Moses said, the Israelites are a holy people unto the Lord thy God, which means separate from everybody else, right? Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So they are special people. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. So they was above all people, right? So now let's go to Deuteronomy 28. Let's see if that's the case today. Who are the Israelites today, I might ask? Who you think the Israelites are? Yeah, who you think the Israelites are? What about you, brother? Huh? Us? Okay, what about you, brother? What you think? I would probably be the same. Huh? I would probably be the same. Say be the same? Okay. Read Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, yeah. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Again, who was Moses talking to in Deuteronomy? We just read it. Who was Moses talking to? You said the Israelites, right? Who Moses talking to, brother? He was talking to the Israelites. Now, in Deuteronomy 7 and 6, he said, you are, you are above all people, and you're going to be a special people to himself, right? But Deuteronomy 28, 15 says, if you don't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, all these curses shall come upon, the, uh, come upon you and overtake you, right? So is the curse good thing or a bad thing? Let me know something. It's always bad. It's always bad. Exactly. I heard some people in the past say, you know, a curse can be a good thing. Name a good curse. Exactly. Because there's not one. So read that 15 again. Verse Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Yeah. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Alright. So now, even the curse about um the um people gonna be high and we're gonna be low. You got that? Yeah. Alright, so remember. Now remember, we was talking about kings, how we, we was kings in um Israel. King Solomon was a king, you know what I'm saying? Christ is the king of the Israelites. We were talking about being the special people, being on top of everybody else, right? Now let's see what we in today, though. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 43. Yeah. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, uh -huh. and thou shalt come down very low. All right. It says we shall come down very low, not read. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shall be the tail. All right. Do black people in Birmingham, Hispanic people in Birmingham, are we on high? Are we the head, or are we the tail? Be honest with yourself. We're the tail. We're at the bottom. We're the tail. We're at the bottom, right? Right? But why is that? Why are we at the bottom? Because we lost. Because we lost. That's good. Why are we at the bottom? Because we cursed. And why are we cursed? 
God, we don't know who we are. That, but read verse 15 again. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Think about it. Not hearken to the voice of the Lord. That means not listen to God. Do black people like to listen? Be honest with yourself. We don't like to listen to nobody. We don't like to take nobody advice. Yeah, we do. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Do we keep the commandments of God? Let's be honest with ourselves. Do, do, do we be like, oh, uh, it said thou shalt not kill. Do we really keep that? No, nope. because you know why we don't? Birmingham is number three st uh, statistics-wise as uh, the, the uh, top three in murder rate in America. Right. That's a shame. You know how many cities? You know how many people? It's over 300 million people in this country. Birmingham is number three. So we're not keeping God's laws. Read on, verse 16. Verse 16, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. It says we cursed in this city. We cursed in this field. You think uh, all this violence, you think that's a good thing, bro? Bro, right here to dress. You think all this violence is good? You think it's good that you got to be on point everywhere you go? You look around in your surroundings and stuff like that? Even all women not even safe. Women getting killed. Kids getting killed. You find the people over on um, mattresses and stuff, dead bodies and stuff. That ain't good. There ain't no way to live, right? Now go back to um, verse 44. Read that again. Verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, uh -huh. and thou shalt come down very low. Yeah. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. All right. So if you need some money, you want to borrow some money, where you going? Check it to cash. These little uh, tax accounting spots. Do we own those spots? Do we own those title masses? No. We borrow from them. We the ones borrowing the money. And guess what happened? We don't pay it back on time. They'll come take your car. Uh huh. You owe them. They gonna put the, your credit gonna go down and stuff like that. But why is this happening to us? Because we broke God's laws. Right. Right. Because we broke God's laws. That's we don't listen right. to God. We rather have boyfriends and girlfriends. Right. We don't want to get married in today's society. Right. All women rather uh, wear pants and um, be like they F nigga free and they independent. They don't want to submit to the man. They don't want to be married. The men don't want to marry the women. The men don't want to take care of the households. That's what's going on. That's Read on. Verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these curses going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder, brother and sister. You hear me? Hey, brother, you hear me over there? These curses going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. Think about a sign. What what you use a sign for? Like a stop sign. What that stop sign mean? Stop. It tell you to stop, right? That city girl. How you know that city again? Because of the sign, right? Read on. Because thou service, because thou service not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Until he have destroyed thee. Can y'all name can y'all name a time when we had a yoke of iron upon our neck? Yeah, we were slaves. We were slaves. Right there. Look at that. Them yokes of iron. That's yokes of iron on our neck. When we were slaves. But it says them yokes of irons on our necks gonna come off once we are destroyed. Right, right. So that let you know in slavery we weren't destroyed yet. We still had good sense. Let's be honest. Even after slavery, we still know to get married. They still know to jump the broom, right? They weren't trying to be whoremongers and stuff like that. Right. But what about today's society? It's not going on. Huh? A lot, a lot of our kids been raised in single mother households. Right. Three, four kids, one woman. The man gone in jail. Or the, or the mama, mama probably ran them off. All that stuff going on in our communities. Right. But why is that? Give me uh, Isaiah 1 and 3. Because you said, you, you made a good point, brother. 
you said we lost. But why we lost? Because a lot of us don't want to be found. A lot of us don't want to know the truth. Read. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox know of his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. It's talking about animals. It says an ox know who his owner is. Right. A donkey know how to get back to his house. Don't care where you take that donkey. That donkey know how to get back home. Right. But it's that like our people don't know. And guess what? We don't try to find out. Why we don't try to find out? Because we always thinking somebody judging us. You can't judge me. Only God can judge me. Well, guess what? God sent judges on the earth. It's a whole book in the Bible called Judges. Right. right. What you think they was doing in Judges? Just, just, just a question. What you think they were doing to judges? They were judging the people. That's what they were there to do, right or wrong. So that's what we got to do. We got to judge our people, but according to what? God's law. That's right. Nation is men leading by example. 